This is your boy, Cletus Chitlin Juice. We're coming from Battle Bowl number 14 at Bolarama in Delaware. My guest tonight is PBA bowler Michael Tang. How you doing, Mike? Not too bad. Can't complain. How about yourself? L listen, it it's all good right about now. The thing is, how good are you going to be when this is over? I'm going to be just fine. That's what I'm talking about. Now, for all the people out there that's watching this interview, this is all about how Michael can get his thoughts off his chest real quick in an interview. Okay? He's not on the lanes, so that means he's actually going to have to focus. Okay? <laughs> You're in Ohio. Yes, sir. Let me ask you a question. As a, as a PBA member now, okay, when you were coming up, who influenced you more, mom or dad? Um, I would say... Be careful now. Yeah, that's a, that's a loaded question. But pure bowling, it would be dad. Mm -hmm. um, he's the one that got myself and my brother into bowling. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom worked in a bowling center when we uh, grew up, so mm -hmm. uh, she allowed us the resources, but he was pretty much our own, only coach, so we're pretty homegrown. Gotcha. Yeah. So now, at what age did you start taking bowling seriously? Uh, I would say probably fairly early, probably around seven, eight, nine, Stop down it. there. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. That's cap. You know that, right? No, no. Seven or eight. Yeah, I mean. You, you knew you had it at that point. I mean, I, at one point, I was the youngest to shoot 300 in the world, so. That is a fact. That is a fact. Yeah. Okay, so now, a lot of people don't know this. People that follow bowling do. Your brother is also on the tour. He is. Now, when you were coming up, okay, and was there a lot of sibling rivalry? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, uh -huh. It doesn't get much better than a sibling rivalry. Um, I would say that we almost pushed each other to mm -hmm. get to where we are today, mm -hmm. which, you know, ultimately the way that we see it is that if we can both succeed, if we can end up one, two every tournament, that's mm -hmm. the ultimate goal. Obviously, when we're teenagers, we want the other one to come in last. We want to come in first, but we've matured a little bit. Um, so that's where we are. We, we try and cheer each other on as much as possible, but we just want to be uh, ahead of the other one. So a one-two finish would be called a tang title. One-two finish, that is a, that's what would happen in a perfect world, yeah. Okay. Now, let's go back to when you were a kid. Your brother was in a match, and he got beat. Did you call out his opponent and challenge them? Um, I want to know, how much did you have your brother's back? Now, back then, when I was a kid, absolutely not. No, no, no. That's it? So, yeah. so basically, you know, he would have to go ahead and catch your back. You didn't catch his back. Yeah, he would, back when we were kids, you know, uh, we would take anything to, to get one step ahead. So so if, if he lost, then I'd be like, all right, then I, I guess I'm better than him. But uh, now, in the, in the most recent years, would probably have his back. Yeah, yeah but it don't count. It's not, at this point right now, you're, you're adults. Yeah, I know. I know. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to know what was happening back then. Oh, yeah. I you mean, know, was the sibling rivaling so bad your dad had to break it up? Um, I remember one instance where uh, he, he hit me pretty aggressively, I think, in the, uh, in the chest with his hand. And I slapped him in the head. And then our dad had us go home. And then we had to do, you know, what was done to us to each other. So he made us physically hit each other but you know it's all part of the growing process and you know we are where we are today and this and this made you competitive oh yeah we uh we're super competitive in everything whether it comes to bowling obviously golf basketball ping pong it, it mm -hmm. doesn't matter yeah we're hyper competitive okay so uh getting off of uh bowling for a second i we played golf we did. yesterday yeah you played fairly well um, uh, I, I would honestly say that was probably the worst that it's been in a few years. Yeah, mm -hmm. you saw about the worst of it. <laughs> okay, because we've had pro bowlers come here and play golf at Battle Bowl. Mm -hmm. And I would have to say, you basically talk trash about yourself the best. Oh, yeah. Nothing, nothing better than a little bit of uh, self-deprecation, so. Uh, well, listen, <laughs> you know, I, I thought I was going to have to 5150 you. You know, but it's all good because it might happen on the lanes tonight. Yeah, see, nothing. Uh, you're, 
you are your own worst critic, so. Absolutely. Yeah, so if, uh, if I'm the worst myself, then what can anybody else do? So this, this I'm is, ready. This is what I'm talking about. So now tell me about Junior Gold. Mm -hmm. Is that where Michael Tang first emerged as a force to be reckoned with? Um, I would say college first. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a pretty good team year. We came in third in the national championship. Mm -hmm. And then that following summer, um, I made Junior Team USA out of Junior Gold for the first time. Mm -hmm. So it all kind of happened at the same time, kind of in the same year, 2014, I think. Um, so kind of took my big leap there. So Junior Gold and college. And, and your school was San Jose State? San Jose State, yep. Two-time intercollegiate bowler of the year. Uh, One-time bowler of the year, two-time first-team All-American. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you stayed in the books, too? I tried, yeah. Just enough. Just enough to get by. And what was your major? Psychology. You see what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. When you talk trash, you have to get inside the head of your opponent. <laughs> okay? But it, that's all good. Yeah. You know? So now, did you get inside of your brother's head? Uh, back then, no, no, no. We had to work together. Even then, we didn't really work together because they have uh, individual standings. And um, for not the better of the team, we were trying to beat each other. So, um, like I said, that hyper competitive, no, no, hyper competitiveness kind of follows us everywhere. I so. know y'all practiced. Yeah. So y'all, y'all were in the dark. Y'all were supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> yeah. You made plans. We we definitely practiced more than we uh, hit the book. So. Mm -hmm. But that but that's okay. You did your thing. Yeah. Okay. So now, you have a child. I do, yeah. Are you going to push your child to bowl? Um, I think it's inevitable. Um, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. Yeah, I bring him to the pro shop every day, so mm -hmm. he's just around bowling. But mm -hmm. try and steer him towards golf. You know, we, we love some golf. Um, whatever sports he wants to play, I'll support it. So. Are you are you going to be one of those helicopter parents? No, no, absolutely not. I told my wife that that's what I was not going to be, and I don't think I have the personality for it. So. I, I think your wife actually told you you weren't going to do that. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm probably more the type of parent that would let their kid do too much stuff. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. We'll, <laughs> we'll find out. But that's a good thing. Okay, so now this weekend you've been around the UBA. Yeah. You've heard that several members of the tour are participants of the UBA. Yeah. What do you think? What are your thoughts on it now? I think it's great. I think bowling in, as a whole needs more kind of environments and cultures like this, mm -hmm. um, not having to be so proper and I guess politically correct, I guess would be a proper no, no, term. No, we, no, 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 we don't do PC here. Exactly, mm -hmm. so I, I think it's great, I love it. Okay, so you're going to get your own franchise. I'm going to talk you into it. Okay. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Do you own the franchise? No, Do you own yet. and participate? Or do you just participate? So where does my jurisdiction reach to? Like, what players can I reach? You can reach whatever players you want. Man, there's a lot of good players in Ohio. Well, what, do you, what do you need, a bowling soup kitchen? Yeah, we, we got guys, so... This is what I, we do. This is about bowlers. This is all about bowlers. I don't, I don't think I would need to play for my franchise. I think Ohio is so good. So, so you're just saying you're just going to put them together and you're going to sit back and you're going to play general manager? Oh, yeah. They're that good. Okay. You do realize that the UBA are the pioneers of modern team bowling, yeah, okay? it says it somewhere right there, right? It, it, that's a fact. Oh, yeah. Okay, now, back in the days... You used to have pros go out, get together, barnstorm, going to different houses, mm -hmm. setting up matches. Okay? Do you see yourself doing that? I could, yeah. Uh, that sounds like something that would be a lot of fun. Um, and like I said, I love the, the culture and the environment. So. And you do realize that that's what the UBA is about, right? Yeah, I love it. I love it. So the thing is, if the platform is already set up for you, why would you just put a team together and let them bowl? Oh, I think it's just the ultimate sign of uh, disrespect to everybody else that telling them that I don't have to bring myself or any of our top tier guys, and I think we can still win. 
He is absolutely delusional. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. He is delusional. <laughs> you know you're going to have to get out there. No, I don't think so. We got some guys. We got some dogs out you, there. You can listen. I, look. I don't care what kind of animal shelter you have out there in Ohio. <laughs> you are going to have to bowl. Yeah, we'll be all right. That's we'll be the all bottom right. line. We'll be all right. Now, Michael has a match tonight where the top individual male is going to face Mike for a storm contract. What chance do you think you have? Oh, very high chance. I mean, I'm not one of the uh, best bowls in the world for nothing, so. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, who are you? And I'm not being disrespectful. Who are you? <laughs> You're in the UVA house. Yeah. That means you got to come get it. I'm going to get it. You have to protect your boss. <laughs> okay? So what is your actual determination factor for what you're going to do tonight? I just think the fact that he brought me out here to do this speaks volumes. It speaks enough. That's so, who I am. So you're a hired hitman? Pretty much, yeah. Well, this is all I'm going to say, and his boss is there. By the time this match is over, check his draws. <laughs> That's all. Check his draws. This is Cletus Chipman Juice and Michael Tang with the UBA all up in your business.